Hi everyone, so today I'm just going to be showing you how to install the Google Analytics code onto your Etsy shop. Now, to do this, it's a really fantastic thing to do because it actually gives you more insight into what sort of pages that your customers are actually looking at, where they are clicking off, etc, etc. So the first thing you want to do is you want to type into Google, Google Analytics, and it will allow you to sign in with your Google account. So if you haven't done that, obviously make an account. I would recommend to do it in your business email. As you can see here, that's what I have done here. Now, the very next thing that you wanna do is you want to go to the admin, which is here. You will be brought up with this um, menu here. You then want to go to create account and then you want to basically name your account. So if I type in something like Etsy shop and I go to next, you want to select web, you then want to click next. You then want to put my website name, so for example, Etsy shop, and then you want to copy and paste your Etsy URL. So it will probably be something like this, shop name.etsy.com so obviously in here you put your shop name to make it easier you can go onto your Etsy shop as if you're a customer and just copy and paste it from the address bar and then you want to do industry so I did a, did a, what would we do it under shopping and then you want to select your time zone and click create and obviously you want to then um, accept these sorts of things here. You will then be brought to this page which gives you your tracking ID and literally all you do is you copy that tracking ID and you head over to your Etsy shop. Now in your Etsy shop what you literally want to do is to go on to settings, go on to options and go over to the tab that says web analytics. You want to copy and paste your tracking ID here which we found here and you want to pop it into there, click save, and there you have it. You will then start to be collecting data on your Etsy shop. And then once you've put in your tracking code correctly, you will see something like this. Now, it will take you about 48 hours of having the code successfully installed in your Etsy shop before it will start to give you data. But as you can see, the kind of data that you can see is users, session, bounce rate, really how many visitors quickly come off of your Etsy shop session duration, active users right now, sessions by country, you've got users by the time of the day. This is especially useful if you look into um, upload Etsy products at a specific time, traffic channel, source, referrals, and everything like that. So I would definitely say to have a little explore, but definitely leave it 48 hours before you are checking back onto your Google Analytics homepage and trying to see any information. So guys, I hope you like this very quick video. So guys, I hope you like this very quick video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Um, subscribe if you haven't already, and I shall see you in the next video.